topic natin today, analogous color. For our activity for today, please prepare paper. We, all, we will also be needing a ruler, tsaka glue, coloring material, and pencil. Sige, start na tayo. Sigayin muna natin to. Yan. Test muna natin yung eyesight ninyo. Okay, so meron ako dito picture na papakita sa screen. Can you tell me what number do you see? Tama, number 12. Sige, tingnan natin yung ibang Susunod na number. Yan. Ito naman, what letter do you see? <laughs> letter T. Yan. Ah, ito naman, what the next one? Ito naman, this one, what number do you see? Number 26. Ito, ito, ito. Anong letter na nakikita nyo? Letter? Oh. Okay. Ito naman. Can you see it clearly? Yan. Sa ibang tao, mahirap silang makadistinguish ng blue at green. Okay, so ito yung tinatawag na Ishihara test. This is the Ishihara test. It tries to to test how sensitive your eyes are for colors. So now we'll try to learn today about analogous colors. Ano ba ang analogous colors? So analogous colors are colors that are next to each other in the color wheel. The okay, example of this set of colors are violet, blue-violet, and blue, or blue-green. Analogous colors can be just two colors, three colors, or four colors, as long as they are next to each other. Analogous colors are quite similar. Medyo, medyo magkakalapit yung kulay. Kaya, maganda itong gamitin sa mga... Uh, mas malamig siya sa mata. Easy on the eyes. Because they're not much contrast. Okay? And it's a safe combination. Okay? Medyo madali siyang i-apply sa fashion, sa interior design. Okay? Because it's not uh, quite striking. Yeah? It's quite uh, more relaxing to the eyes. Okay? And another example of analogous colors can be red, violet, red, red, orange, orange. See? Kasim similar sila. And similar, yes. Yeah. <laughs> and then, example also, yellow, orange, yellow, yellow, green, and green. So, example of analogous colors sa uh, blue side. Diba? We have violet, blue, violet, and blue. That's like in the galaxy. Diba? Actually, medyo more of, medyo may counting hint na ng red, violet to. Yeah. Also, here, look at this painting or this photo. We have the blue or cyan, blue green or cyan. So, the blue, may counting violet. And this is also an example of the analogous colors in the red side. So we have beige. This one is red, red, orange, orange. Okay, but you can also add a little bit of red violet. But you can three colors or four colors. So for today's activity, we will use analogous colors to make agamographs. Gagamitin natin yung analogous colors para gumawa ng agamographs. Ano ba yung agamographs? So, isang side, ibang picture, kabilang side naman, iba din. Look. Diba? So, that's an example of agamographs. So, it's made by um, artist, sculptor, Yakov Agam. Doon nang galing yung pangalan na agamographs. So, yung agamographs, para siyang dalawang picture, Sa isa. So, paano nangyari yun? Okay? Merong mga tupi-tupi. There are folds. Okay? Okay? Or, pwedeng two, pwedeng three fold, depende. At ngayon, gagawin lang natin yung ano lang, parang zigzag, two folds, uh, ano lang, two sides lang. Okay? And then, yung picture, ilalagay natin sa kabilang side, kagaya nito. Tapos, yung isa naman, sa kabilang side, kagaya niyan. So, ngayon, tatry natin ito, ha? So, please prepare your paper. For this one, we need two sheets of paper. Better if you have long bond paper. Mas maigi if you have a long sheet of paper. So now, let's align. So we're gonna fold the folding. Pag tupe. Importante sa folding na yung dulo, tip to tip to. Dalawang sheet, get two sheets of paper. Okay? 
put them together. So, paano nyo gagawin yun? Try nyo yung, yung index finger nyo dito sa taas, tapos dito din, yung thumb sa gilid. Put your thumb here to align them. Make sure all sa corners and sides are aligned. Pantay na siya, di ba? Hindi siya ganyan. Oops! Ay, hindi pantay. Okay, dapat ganito. So, first, we're gonna fold it in half. We will fold it here. Tignan nyo, ah. Not like this. Hindi ganito. Hindi ganyan. But, ito. Okay, tignan nyo, ah. Yan. Pag pantay na, didiinan nyo nito. Tignan nyo. Yan. Tapos, pag pantay na, yung thumb nyo, ihilayan nyo pa baba. Tignan nyo, ah. Yan. Didiinan nyo ganun. Hanggang sa umabot dito sa baba. Okay, tapos, pag nasa gitna na, when it's in the middle, you will uh, press the bottom part. Didinan nyo gamit yung thumb sa baba. Hanggang sa umabot kayo sa gilid. Ayan. Okay, ngayon, okay, buksan natin, ha. Ayan. So, meron akong two. Then, ito siya, two sheets. Okay. Bubuksan natin ulit at tutupiin natin ang gitna. Ayan, dito sa gitna. Sa gitna. Okay. Ayan, tupiin nyo. Papantay nyo muna, look. Pantay muna dito. Sit align. And then, pantay nyo itong corner. Ayan. Tapos, using your two fingers, tinan nyo siya. Hold it para hindi gagalaw. Tapos, ito, ipupush nyo dyan din pataas. Ayan. Pag medyo okay na, if you think the hold is okay or good, you, sh you trace it again with your thumb. So, diinan nyo ulit gamit yung poko nyo. Ayan. Gawin din natin sa kabila. So, yan. Ganyan na siya. Look. Okay, ganito na siya. Kabila naman. Okay. Hold. Pantay nyo, look. Pantay muna. Move, move around. Pantay nyo. Pag pantay na, Then, press. Okay, ngayon, tutupi naman natin siya palabas. Okay. okay, sa paggawa ng agamograph, importante na maganda po yung pagkakatupi nyo. Ngayon, tutupi naman natin ito palabas. Gagawa lang tayo ng parang zigzag. Kita na yun. Zigzag. Zigzag po. Accordion fold. We call it accordion fold. Yan. Fold, pantay ulit. Okay. Dito, draw mo na kayo mag-fold at i-assemble, ha? Tapos, diba, ito na siya. Ito na siya pataas. Dito naman, pababa. Okay. Basta ang goal lang natin, yan, fold ulit. Tapos, yan, babaliktad din natin. Okay na ba? Baliktad. Tapos, pataas. Pataas, papantay ulit natin dito, ha? So, ngayon, ganito na siya. Tingnan nyo. Woohoo! Pag nagkamali kayo ng, ano, ng tupi, oh, balik na rin nyo lang. <laughs> Kung nga rin, nasa kabilang side nyo na tupi. Okay lang yon You just fold it the other way. Yan. Dito naman, balik-balik. Hanggang sa makagawa kayo ng parang pamaypay. Dapat pantay, ha? Look. Yan. Tapos, open it. Yan. Yan. Ngayon, meron na tayong two steps. Okay? Ngayon, itong isa, gugupitin natin sa gitna. One, two, three, four. Apat. Ba, itong gitna. May when you cut, may pa nagugupit kayo, dapat dalawang kamay ang gagamitin. You have to use two hands. One of the most important parts of cutting is holding the paper properly. Kailangan hawakan nyo ng maigi yung papel dito para magupit nyo siya ng maayos. Okay, ngayon, meron na tayo tig dalawang set. Diba? Meron tayong malaki. Dito natin ididikit yung paper. Tapos, meron na tayo nitong dalawang maliit. Okay? Okay, ngayon, lalagyan natin ng pangalan o lilabel na natin ito para hindi tayo malito. Okay? Ito yung ating magiging letter A. Kita ba? Ito magiging ating letter A. Tapos, Skip. Hindi nyo ito yung sulatan. B. Skip. Hindi, hindi ko kasama. B. C. Tatalon kayo, ah. Skip. Tapos, D. Okay. okay. Pero, dito, lalakawalagyan natin ang pangalan, pero, pabaliktad. Okay? 
Ito ang ating magiging letter A. Ito yung magiging B. Ito yung magiging C. Ito yung magiging D. Okay? Kasi ito drawingan natin yung kabila eh, para lang hindi tayo malito. Ito yung ididikit natin. A sa A. B sa B. C sa C. D sa D. Okay? At. Okay, maliktad. Tapos, dito naman, susunod, nalagyan naman natin ng number 1 para lang hindi tayo maluto. 1, skip. 2, skip. 3, skip. 4. Actually, pwede naman hindi nyo nalagyan ng uh, names or numbers. Pero nilalagyan lang natin para sure na hindi tayo maluto. Okay, yeah. So, ngayon, dito naman sa isa natin papel, 1, 2, 3, 4, pero pabalik na din. Okay, kasi, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4. Okay. So, ngayon, eh, meron na tayo, di ba? 1, 2, 3, 4. Kasi ito naman, eh, pabaliktad. A, B, C, D. Ito naman, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay ba? Okay. Okay, now, meron na tayo nito. We'll set it aside. We will start drawing. Okay? Pwede na tayo mag-draw. Mag-drawing, okay? So, think of uh, something na you like to draw. Pwedeng flowers, pwedeng... Three, di ba? Dito sa ginawa ko, look. It's a house. It looks like a daytime house, but here it looks like a scary house. Drawing ako simple lang. Hmm. Ano ko yung gusto nyo? Remember, ah, ito yung ating ano, B, A, B, C, D. Baliktad to, ah. One, two, three, four. Drawing ako na lang ng simple na lang na emoji naman. Kunwari, feelings. Okay. You can change the drawing. Again, pwede nyo ibahin. So, this one, I'm gonna draw a happy face, happy emoji. <laughs> Parang sad. Yan. Ito naman, gawin kong sad. Kasi analogous colors, ha? remember, we'll be drawing analogous colors. Okay, dito. Dito naman, gagawin ko para rainy, rainy. Para madali lang. Kasi pag pinarapa natin drawing, baka hindi natin mata. And then, we will color it using analogous colors. Kulayan na natin. So, ito, analogous colors. Yeah. Kulayan ko ha. Actually, minsan, you can use crayons. Actually, when you remember the warm colors and cool colors, it's similar. Okay? Yeah. But, pwede rin hindi. Orange. And make sure when you color, dapat buo ha. Dapat lahat na areas. Kulayan mo. Tapos, ididikit. We will cut this. Gugupitin natin ito mamaya. Ha? Tapos, ididikit natin sa paper. Okay? <laughs> Diba? Analogous color red. Na hindi sa dito naman sa isa. <laughs> Tatry ko. Pwede pa rin may red. Pero ano ba yung katabi ng red? Red, red, violet, red, violet, saka blue. Yan. See? Hindi kailangan naman na ano. Pwede rin naman ng green. Hmm. Okay. Color lang tayo. We are now coloring. Blue. Yep. Tapos na ako. Blue. Analogous colors. Hindi natin. Okay. Yan. Di ba? Ang analogous colors yung magkakatabi sa color wheel. Kagaya ng blue, blue, violet, red, violet. Di ba? Gugupitin na natin. Make sure to cut it dun sa fold. Dito muna tayo sa ABC. Cut natin ulit ha. Cut. Okay, make sure pantay ha. Make sure to fold it. Ay, to cut it dun sa fold natin. So, get your paper again. Kanina. And then, we will label it. Hanapin nyo. Match nyo lang. A, di ba? A. B. C. Tapos, D. Ayan. 
ko naman yung ating one. Two. Ayan. Tapos three. Tapos four. Ha? And then we will paste it. Okay, now, pasting, paano mag-paste? Dapat tuldok-tuldok lang ha, huwag masyadong basa. Just a dot. A dot will do. So here, for A, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Ayan, 6 lang ha. Sabit na rin natin. Paste. Make sure it's aligned. Siguro doon yung pantay. Okay. Huwag masyadong maraming glue ilagay kasi may hihirapan kayo patuyuin. Just like paint, glue needs to be dry. Pagkikit mo dito, pantayin ha. Pantay. Okay, then, look ha, dot lang ako. Chuk, 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 chuk. Ayan, ganyan lang. Huwag masyado madami. Ito din. Okay. Medyo, medyo ano na tayo sa aking time. Yan. Dots lang ha. Six dots. Okay na yun. Don't put too much kasi it will make your work messy. Kakalat yung gawa nyo. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ganun lang mag-paste ha. Wag madami. Ay, minsan kasi sobrang dami mag-paste eh. Huwag nahirapan tuloy matuyo. Ba? And make sure it's aligned. Kasi if not, no, hindi, baka hindi magtugma-tugma yung inyo. There! And then, once it's aligned, itupi nyo ulit. Hold it again. Look. Ayan. Ito nyo siya, ha? And then, ta-da! <gasps> Zigzag. And then, look! It's a sad face. And tinan nyo dito. <gasps> Sunny day! Diba? Two images in one. Just in one artwork. So, this is called an agamograph. Okay? Ayan. So, tapos na rin ba kayo? Alright. So, thank you for joining us today. Know your art. Be art smart.